Hi, this is Jack Westerman for ESCANews.com, still here in Paris, France for the Electronic Sports World Cup 2014. Joining me this time are two members of Chinese team POW, and uh, I'm definitely going to pronounce your names wrong, so please correct me. Uh, Min Ming Sing yes. and Ed101, which is the in-game name. Uh, so, you are the uh, manager and captain yes. of, of team POW, in respectively. In-game leader. In-game leader, sorry. Yes. Um, can you run me through uh, your, your background as Counter-Strike players and uh, what everybody else's role in the team is as well? Well, I'm the um, current manager, but uh, it's only for this event and for the future event, I don't really know. He is the uh, captain and yep. the uh, in-game leader. We have QZ, which is a sniper. We have Vigo and uh, somebody, our first 3H. And, uh, do you want to, sorry, move the microphone as well. <laughs> and, uh, who else? And DD, yeah. Those, so those are the rifles, yeah. Okay, so are these guys, because I'm aware Europeans and Americans probably don't know that much about your team. Mm -hmm. uh, are you 1.6 players? Are you Source players? Go players? How long have, what's your history in Counter-Strike as a team? So the team has been up for three or four months and um, some players are from Counter-Strike Source and some from 1.6 but it's really a young team most of them are 1.6. All right, okay, yeah. so relatively new team, but yeah. long time players. Yeah. Um, so here you are in Paris, the Electronic Sports World Cup, one of the most, well, I get people call it the most prestigious tournament in, in esports. Um, how does it feel to be in Paris? How have you guys been preparing for this tournament? Okay. Uh, ESRBC is the biggest tournament in the world. How do you feel about it? I feel like Paris is very good. So Paris is a very beautiful city yep. and uh, the whole electronic gaming atmosphere in the Paris Games Week aka ESWC is so great. Um, it's the first time that we have actually participated in one of these kind of huge event yeah so we are really glad and excited right and well okay so let's talk about your your the matches you've played so far so yeah. you've played three mm -hmm. uh, you've won one and yeah. lost two matches yes uh, you you the first team you beat was energy yeah who are the South African team can you talk us through the win a little bit and how you were able to beat the South African team did, did you know much about them beforehand Nanfei对这场比赛你有什么感想 uh, so, so uh, the South African team had a really strong pistol. So uh, basically on their pistol rounds and on their eco they were really good. But then um, their city side was pretty bad so we just uh, roll over them. Okay. And, um, yeah, well, we didn't really know about them before, so uh, we played re quite relaxed, and uh, I think that's why we won. I, I interviewed the that team, I interviewed yeah. the South African team before you, and they said uh, they, they thought you played very randomly. They thought you were, uh, you know, pushing at unexpected times and you were very unpredictable. Is that usually how your team plays? Is that a fair assessment? Um, Saying that we are random, I, 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 can't, I can't take that, but um, <laughs> yeah, well, you know, when you I can simply, you, when you can simply get entry frags each time, it's yeah. easier to play more freely, I'd call that playing a more freestyle Counter-Strike. 
and uh, yeah, that's I, I don't think he meant it in a bad way. I yeah. think he was saying it was more yeah. the unpredictable nature. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, so that was your first match, yeah. and then uh, you moved on and you played uh, Navi and lost 7-16. Mm -hmm. Then you played Fnatic and lost 5-16. I mean, these are two of the best teams in the world, and you're putting up seven rounds, five rounds, probably the most of any international team, you know, the, the challenging teams, as it were, um, but still losing. What's, what went wrong for you in those two games? Navi <laughs> Fnatic的实际上最好的两支队伍之一 so um, Navi and Fnatic, they had um, much more re uh, richer, much richer experience than us, and uh, aim wise, they are also a little bit better. And um, we, and I think uh, we had some uh, bigger pressure too. And uh, also, so the our communication was quite bad because due to all the noise, we are yeah. not used to it. So um, yeah, yeah. The, the Chinese scene used to be, uh, you know, 1.6. Mm -hmm. You guys used to be coming over to Europe all the time to play in these tournaments. Uh, well, sorry, not your team specifically, but yeah. Chinese teams in the past, Asian teams. Um, how big is the Counter-Strike community over in China? And do you have the support over there to make it to more of these events in future? So, 这个舞台是不是还存在？然后就说未来我们是不是还能有国内的呃厂商或者是赞助商支持我们来欧洲参加比赛？嗯，现在这中国的FPS游戏，呃，CS:GO吧，CS:GO这个环境怎么说不是特
ECG、WGT、ECL 这些比赛，但都是国内的，其他的好像就不太清楚。So when will be back? Will be participate participating in、uh, WECG、yeah. and、uh, several other Chinese lands. And、um, yeah, but most of them are Chi Chinese local lands. Yeah. We will be participating in those tournaments, but we are not sure yet that they have the、uh, CSGO competition. Ah, okay. And、um, well, yeah, we we really hope that、uh, DreamHawk can also contact with Chinese tournament organizers, organizers, and、uh, we can have a Chinese DreamHawk soon. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I I hope so as well. I think it would be great to get、yeah. you guys over here more often.、Um, guys, best of luck for for your next two games.、Thank、Before you, you go. Uh, do you want to run through shoutouts, any sponsors, friends, family, that kind of thing? 呃，非常感谢，然后支持我们的在中国的朋友们，然后还有热爱这个游戏的所有所有的朋友们。谢谢国内和国外的观众，谢谢大家。Okay, guys, thank you very much. Thank you. As I said, best of luck. And for everyone at ESCA.net and ESCANews.com, stay tuned to the website for full coverage. Of ESWC 2014 here in Paris, France.